Hey guys, it's Colton here, and welcome back to another episode of Spiritual Essence. We are going to be doing another spiritual story time. Um, this one does happen to um, be with a dream again, but this time it has to do with magic as well. Um, more in the term of me performing magic during a dream, which... You know, all of us have had dreams, and we all know how hard it is to break free from that reality, how hard it is to realize that we are in a dream, and to take control. So, the moments we do, we really do feel victorious and triumphant. You know, sometimes we may have the ability to fly, to teleport to anywhere we want, to visit with uh, anybody we want... So, the the dream, I remember, started out very, very odd. Because I remember I was in my parents' backyard, and it was nighttime. And I was performing a ritual. I don't remember exactly what the ritual was about. I don't think I even knew then. But I remember this teacher came. And she would definitely wasn't one of my teachers, like from grade school or anything. I didn't recognize her at all. But she definitely had the look of a teacher. I sensed she was a teacher. She was wearing um, a purple skirt, um, black heels, a white turtleneck sweater. She had glasses, and she had her long brunette hair in a ponytail, I remember. And in her hand, she actually had a ruler. And, of course, what better to symbolize a teacher than with a woman holding a ruler? And, um... I remember all of a sudden, this leprechaun, and it was the leprechaun from the leprechaun movies because I remember I had been watching the leprechaun movies. Why? Because I love cheesy horror films. But anyway, he had actually got on top of her and, you know, on her back and was biting at her. And I remember I told him, you know, I said, yeah, you get away from her. He wouldn't listen. So all of a sudden, I remember I focused all of my energy on him, and I'm like, I hereby banish you and your negative energy from this space. You will leave. And I remember such power, and I remember a storm broke out in the middle of the dream, and it was just raining, and there was thunder and lightning. And all of a sudden, as I did that, the leprechaun hopped off her. He seemed scared, and all of a sudden, he, he like growled at me, and then he ran off. And I remember how excited I was that I actually used a magic spell in a dream to ward off uh, a negative energy, whether it had been from my own mind or f uh, something lingering around in the spirit realm. Either way, I used my magic in a dream to banish a spirit. I remember I just had so much focus and power. I knew I had to do something. I'm like, I'll use my magic. And it wasn't like in the movies where um, you had, like, you could see the magic coming out of your hand. It was, it was still an invisible force, but I remember I could feel the energy around me and how powerful it really was. And that leprechaun, he ran away so fast. He was so afraid of me. Which, if you've seen any of the Leprechaun movies, you know that that would most likely not happen in real life. <laughs> uh, but it's uh, extremely hard to have a lucid dream. For those of you who don't know what that is, lucid dreams are basically just dreams where you have more awareness of your reality than other people. You know you're in a dream, and um, 
it, it suddenly becomes real and you suddenly realize how much power you really do have. There's a lot more you can do. A lot of people like to use lucid dreams to trigger astral projection uh, or sending your spirit off into the spirit realm while still being alive. Uh, it, astral projection is a uh, ability that I have been studying for six or seven years now, and I've had mixed success on that one, but I haven't had the ability to do full-on sessions for long periods of time. It's always been here or there. Um, but I'm still studying now and I'm still practicing. I still got so many more books on the subject to read to see if another technique will work for me. Um, but hold on. there is a book that I mentioned in my one video. Okay, here we go. In my book recommendations that I highly suggest for all you people who want to study astral projection. So this is A Witch's Travel Guide to Astral Realms by DJ Conway. It is a very good book. Look at that beautiful cover art. This woman is very talented. And her techniques, they open your eyes. They take astral projection and... Uh, they take it from a witch's point of view instead of a parapsychologist or a regular old spiritualist. So it really does give you a fresh perspective from that of a witch. If you would call yourself one. But it's also very good for any old spiritualist. So that's once again A Witch's Travel Guide to Astral Realms by DJ Conway. And um, this, I also featured this book in my uh, book recommendations for beginner witches. So be sure to check out that video if you haven't already. All right, um, that's pretty much it for my little experience. If you've had similar experiences using magic in a dream, feel free to share it down in the comments uh, below. If you have any questions or comments, do the same. Um, feel free to subscribe to my channel and share it with as many people as you believe uh, this could help on their spiritual path. Thank you so much. I wish you all a good day.